Right, what you can see there is uh, a lovely new addition to our garden. It's found its way in, uh, which saves us a bit of a walk because this is one of our favourite plants to go foraging for. This is wood sorrel. This is the most common variety. Oxalis acetacella. And I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. Now, this plant here is a plant that um, could easily be mistaken for clover. You can see that there. Um, there's a difference between this and clover though, which um, is what we call a key identifier. It's something unique to this plant really. And that's those heart shaped leaves that you can see with each of those three leaves there. This is a trifoliate, three leaves. There are some four leaved versions, but as far as that key identifier goes, there really is nothing in Britain apart from different types of wood sorrel that have those three heart-shaped leaves. Sometimes clover, uh, white-flowered clover, I believe, can have slightly heart-shaped leaves, but if you make a mistake and you pick up some clover instead of wood sorrel, uh, that's not a problem because clover is perfectly edible. It's just nowhere near as tasty as this plant. Now, um, you do get this plant in restaurants. Chefs pay an absolute fortune for it, so you don't get very much of it in a restaurant. Um, and you'll always get served the stem as well as the leaves. Now that's because the stem has as much, if not more, flavour than the leaves do. And that flavour is something quite spectacular, really. For a little plant like this, it really, really packs a punch. It's got a, a sort of lemony or citrusy flavour with hints of apple peel. And everyone that eats it is, nor well, is surprised by how strong the flavour is. Now, that citrusy side of the plant lends itself to lots of different things so you know it's spring at the moment and uh, I always go on about wild garlic pesto but every good pesto really deserves a little squeeze of lemon juice but lemons don't grow wild in Britain whereas wood sorrel does and if you add a handful of wood sorrel to your pesto then you're adding the same sort of citrusy lemony side as you would by squeezing in some lemon juice you know freeze the uh, leaves and flowers in some ice cubes for your drinks you can use it as a garnish or as a salad leaf um, it really does have a lot of different uses it's a versatile plant i believe uh, in france they make uh, a tart out of uh, wood sorrel they um they'll make a normal tart base and then get a load of the leaves and stems and wilt them down with some cream maybe some raspberries or whatever else you want to, to put on there and use that as, as the tart filling because of the lovely, lovely lemony flavour that it has. The um, leaves and the stem are tasty enough, but these beautiful flowers that you see here, I'll give you a little close up of the inside of the flower there. These beautiful flowers have that same citrusy, sour flavour, but um, with a lovely, lovely, sweet hint beside it. So the flowers to me are even tastier than the leaves themselves uh, and the stems. If you, uh, if you put a lot of this uh, plant in your mouth at one time, it's kind of like the opal fruit challenge or, or the starburst challenge, I suppose it should be called now. It really does make your mouth water. Now, it's early April, so this is flowering ever so slightly early here. It's um, one of its other common names is uh, Alleluia, and that's because traditionally it flowers between Easter and Pentecost. So uh, we're a little bit early with it flowering here, but you get it flowering early in the year. And to be honest, I see it flowering all through summer in different parts, in different patches. Uh, it's a very, very common woodland plant. There's lots of different types of it. You've probably got a little purple one in your own garden. Um, it creeps from plant pot to plant pot and down the sides of walls. It's called creeping wood sorrel. And it's a, a smaller purple leafed plant, which I believe has a yellow flower. This one's obviously white flowering. There's a big ornamental one that people have in their gardens, which has a, a lovely sort of purplish flower, which is incredibly tasty. It's exactly like this plant, but just grows to more than a foot tall. And it has that same key identifier, three heart-shaped leaves. You know, they will flower, like I say, at different times of year. They're supposed to flower at the end of April, but these plants and mushrooms, they don't read the same books as us, so they kind of do what they want when they feel like it, or, or when the conditions are right. 
but it is a plant that if you keep your eyes peeled you will see just examine every patch that you thought was clover before and you might find that with those heart-shaped leaves what you've really got is some wood sorrel that's it it's key identifier three heart-shaped leaves it loves you three times that's all you need to remember it's a wonderfully tasty plant please go out and find some for yourself to try it but if you want to find out more please go to www.wildfooduk.com